Hi everyone, it's been a while, so welcome back to my vlog. Recently, I've been cooking for myself more often, so here's some of the things I've been preparing for myself. Today, I woke up early enough to have breakfast, so I started with this mixed berry smoothie. I put about a cup of frozen mixed berries into a blender along with some yakult and honey and blend until smooth. After that, I go ahead and toast some bread for my salmon and cream cheese toast. Once my bread is toasted, I spread some cream cheese on and top with smoked salmon slices, pickled onions, and capers. Next for lunch, I decided to make some fresh spring rolls. First, I prepare all the ingredients, starting with the veggies. I had carrot, radish, and cucumber on hand, so I passed them through a mandolin to slice them thinly. Next, I boil some crab sticks and shrimp until cooked through and set them aside to cool while I work on the dipping sauce. For the sauce, I mix peanut butter, sweet and sour sauce, soy sauce, and honey until well combined. Now it's time to bring all the ingredients together, and as you can see, I set up my work area so that all the ingredients are within reach. So first, I dip the rice paper in warm water and lay it down on a plate. Then I put all my prepped veggies, crab sticks, and shrimp in a pile in the middle and fold in the bottom and two sides to secure them in place before rolling up all the way. Finally for dinner, I made this chicken tomato zucchini pasta. Like before, I prep all the ingredients first, so I chop up the zucchini, tomato, and chicken and set those aside for later.
I boil some water and heat up my pan. Once the pan is hot, I decided to fry some bacon as well for added flavor. I let that cook a bit and salt my now boiling water and add in my pasta. Back to the pan, the bacon has had some time to cook so I move it to one side and add a bit of oil to cook my chicken. I season it with salt and pepper and stir it together with the bacon. When I no longer see any pink on the chicken, I make space in the middle to sauté some garlic as well as the zucchini and tomatoes until cooked. At this point, the pasta is about done so I drain the water and add my stir-fried meat and veggies into the pasta along with some butter and parmesan cheese. Then I mix them all together until the components are evenly distributed and served. Bon appétit